Hi guys, welcome to another Touch of Film. Today I have a stack of Korean Blu-rays. Um, I have done a Blu-ray update for a little while now, but yeah, I have some great titles here. Um, starting off with VIP. Um, this is directed by Park Hoon Jung and it stars Jang dong -un. Uh A great movie. It made my top 20 movies of last year. Um, and it tells the story of a North Korean boy who's got this appetite for murdering and torturing young girls. Um, you have a police officer from South Korea, a military personnel from North Korea, and they're all after this guy with all their own different in uh, intentions and ways different catching him. A really good uh, thriller, a bit of action in there. It's Definitely worth watching. I think there is a US edition of this. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's well worth getting if you can get hold of it. This is a this is non-limited edition. It's got a really nice effect there. Standard standard edition with with a slip and MRA there. Yeah, nothing really special, but a great movie nonetheless. Definitely worth getting your hands on. Next up, it is a taxi driver. This was another movie from last year, which I absolutely loved. Uh, directed by Jang Hoon and stars Song Kang Ho, the legendary Song Kang Ho. Uh, it tells a story of the Guangzhou uprising, which was a time when people were fighting for democracy in a region of Korea and the police were very, very aggressive towards these people. A lot of people died in this, um, in this protesting, and yeah, absolutely awful. And Son Kang Ho's character is a taxi driver who's sort of like taking this German reporter around and allowing him to have access to um, the protesting and to really like report it to people outside of Korea because it wasn't really shown much inside Korea as well as outside Korea. So yeah, it's a very tragic film, uh, but absolutely brilliant. Um, there is a US edition of this, um, which I really recommend. It's, I think it's released by Well Go USA. Um, but this edition is the limited edition. Uh, let's open it up so you can have a look. It comes with this really nice slip cover here with the taxi there if it focuses yeah really nice and it comes with a chunky book here which has I think it's like a screenplay but it is all in Korean so it's not English friendly yeah it's not English friendly unfortunately um, also comes with some art cards in this sort of really cool envelope here with let me just open this up you have Son Kang Ho's taxi pass it's really cool it's laminated as well and you have some standard art cards there and what is this? A yeah, another bit of memorabilia the a replica of the passport that the German reporter had. Really nice edition. This is a limited edition. Um, I'm not too sure how many there was, um, but it sold out so quick. Usually, when a Song Kang Ho movie gets released in Korea it sells out straight away I mean the last one was Age of Shadows uh, again just like that it sold out also the fact that Age of Shadows and this movie were both Korean uh, entries for the Oscars for uh, best foreign language movie which is an, a cool thing like definitely sh uh, it's hard to say that it should have been nominated um, I'm a bit biased I love this movie I'm a big fan of Song Kang Ho he's one of my favorite actors and yeah uh, 
a film that I think everyone should get a chance to see if you're into Asian cinema or into like true stories, especially of like uh, dissent because of like bad governments. So yeah, Taxi Driver, I highly recommend it for anyone. Uh, next up, I have some CJ Media titles. Um, these are all pretty old. I mean, I've seen these quite a few times and I never owned them on Blu-ray. And that they were going pretty cheap. Um, first up, there is Taza, High Rollers. Uh, this is directed by Choi Dong Hoon and stars Jo Sung Woo. And is it sort of like a gambling movie in some ways? Uh, comes with a slip cover, really nice. Like you get these, if you can, really nice, like spot glossing there. And it is a digi pack with the Blu ray inside. Really nice. I love these editions. This is spine number four. It's quite an early release. And then I think we're on spine number 50 now. Um, so yeah, that is from CJ Media and that is Tezza High Rollers. I'm not too sure if there's any other releases of this in the UK or US, but yeah, it's worth checking out. It's a fun movie. Uh, a gambling movie, this a young boy, he loses all his money. Well, it's not really his money. He took it from his uh, sister. And then he goes and gambles, gambles it, loses by being cheated on, and he wants to get the money back, and he learns to gamble from a gambling specialist. Uh, yeah, a great movie, uh, fun to watch, really. Uh, next up we have Punch. Uh, a great movie directed by Lee Han and stars at UAN. Uh, another great, great actor. Um, it's about a young boy who goes to school. He's, uh, he's, his family, he's got a bit of a broken family. His father's got disability and he works as a street performer. And he has a few issues in school. And he's got the support of, a te of his teacher who, you know, is a bit of a wacky guy, but he's really supportive. Sort of reminds me of a Robin Williams from Dead Poets Society in a way. Um, yeah, a great movie. I really recommend this for anyone. I hadn't seen it in so long and I forgot how good it is. Uh, that is Punch. This is spine number 17 of the series. And then this is easily available from eBay, uh, you need to have a region free Blu-ray player. I don't know if there is a US or UK release of it. And it is this Digipack there. And that comes with like um, an art card with some cell in there. If you could see that. So that's good luck, like a bit of cell there. Film cell, um, yeah. Good, good cast, really entertaining. Bit of comedy in there as well. Um, and you know, the boy takes up boxing and uh, kickboxing, I think, yeah, kickboxing. Sorry, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's a fun movie. Um, glad I own it again, uh, but glad I own it. Uh, definitely worth watching. And lastly, I have another. CJ movie, um, this is spy number 35, it is Flu, uh, directed by Kim Sung Soo. And it's basically like, a bit like Outbreak, a, a, form, a form of avian flu breaks out into Korea, into a part of Korea really. Um, and it comes in from some Chinese immigrants who are trafficked into the country one of them comes that one of them has it and it's in this container and it just spreads like that uh, it's it comes in from the air so it's easily spread and just causes absolute devastation people are dying 
yeah, great movie. Again, shows the dark side of uh, politics and is a bit anti-American in some ways. Um, yeah, a fun movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, let me get this out. Yeah, that's spine number 35. Comes in this nice digi pack. There's the artwork there. And one thing about Korean movies, they've always got a cute little Korean girl in there. And this one has this really cute little South Korean girl who's just adorable. You know, you can't, you just want to squeeze their cheeks. So yeah, that is my Korean Blu-ray update, guys. Um, this is still available, I think, from Kimchi DVD and Nova Media. Um, these you could probably get off eBay, and this you'd have to get on e off eBay. It's probably going to be sc scalped to death because it's sold out so quickly. And you know what these scumbags are like on eBay, they just... They buy free, free titles just to sell them. It's heartbreaking, but yeah, what can you do? Um, so yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please click subscribe, comment below. Um, yeah, what's your favorite Song Kang Ho movie? Please let me know, please comment below, tell me what it is. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys, take it easy.